daughter actually picked up the fight and continued on until that first Mother's Day was recognized nationally in 1914. And she wound up spending the rest of her life fighting the idea because it suddenly became very commercialized. She thought it was terrible to send a greeting card. You should write a personal letter to mom. And so she wound up fighting for the rest of her life. And we hear conversation today about it being perhaps a little too commercialized. Laura, is Mother's Day too commercialized? Or are we expressing a genuine sentiment with all those store-bought gifts? Give us your thoughts on that content. You know, it's funny because I hear that with every holiday. Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, is it too commercialized? Well, one could argue that any holiday is. Any forced day on the calendar that we arbitrarily celebrate somebody, sure, we should be doing that all the time. I think one thing I, I noticed in my line of work in social work a lot is that, you know, we all think of Mother's Day as being this great day, and it is. It's a great time to honor mothers. But there are a lot of people who aren't mothers, and it's a really painful thing for people who have lost mothers. People who can't be mothers, people who, a um, couple clients who have had children taken from them, it's, it's a really hard time. So I think that we need to take this opportunity to really appreciate mothers and appreciate all the people who are like mothers. I'm that corny one who buys all Hallmark cards and I still buy cards and I gave a speech about cursive handwriting and I still use my cursive handwriting and buy stamps and I'm that last person who does that. And I buy cards for everybody, all my aunts, my godmother, people who are like a mother to me. So I think it's a good opportunity just to thank all the people in our lives and we should do that every day, not just Mother's Day. Thank you very much. Madam Timer, may we have a timer's report, please? <laughs>